The FireEye Shield CTP system instructional series has three video sections operation and use, cleaning and maintenance, and troubleshooting. This section is operation and use. Before operating the FireEye Shield CTP system, refer to the suggested best practices for your cutting and welding safety plan for recommended safety procedures to be sure you are always following all work area protection requirements. Position the unit horizontally on a dry, level surface away from stagnant water. Be sure to always keep the unit dry. Begin by plugging the unit into a 110 volt GFI outlet. Fill the tank with 45 gallons of clean water. Dirty water or debris can clog the CTP system and impair and or prevent performance so be sure to always use the provided water filter when filling the unit. Turn on the pump and recirculation valve. The pump is a high pressure system. Always use caution during operation. To loosen the powder inside the fire ice shield bucket, turn the bucket upside down and tap gently. Next, close the recirculation valve and open the adductor valve. Check for suction at the end of the adductor pickup tube. This is necessary to prevent water from traveling up the pickup tube and into the fire ice shield bucket, which could potentially clog the system and prevent eduction. Over a period of approximately five minutes, introduce three quarters of the fire ice shield bucket into the tank using the adductor pickup tube. Move the pickup tube in a slow circular motion around the bucket. Do not force powder into the system. Do not pour fire ice powder into the water fill opening. When done, Turn the adductor valve off and turn the recirculation valve on. One quarter of the fire ice powder should be left in the bucket. Run the system for an additional 10 minutes to fully cure the fire ice solution. Take and record a marsh funnel measurement. Proper viscosity is anywhere between 1 minute 35 seconds and 1 minute 45 seconds. If the result is below 1 minute 35 seconds, add additional fire ice powder in small increments. If the result is above 1 minute 45 seconds, Add additional water in small increments. Retake a marsh funnel measurement. Repeat this process until the marsh funnel reading is within the specified range. The marsh funnel test assures a proper viscosity level for up to three hours. If the system is not used for three hours, recirculate the solution for five minutes. Perform the marsh funnel test and adjust as described above if necessary. Remember to follow all rigging work safety procedures. Attach the rigging to the eyelet on the nozzle. Treat a minimum of 10 feet above and below the work area. For maximum coverage when coating, raise and lower the spray nozzle at a rate of 1 foot per 5 second interval. Turn off the CTP system when not in use to avoid overheating the pump or damaging the fire ice solution. The next video in the fire ice CTP system instructional series is cleaning and maintenance. To view the videos, click the links in the description below.